Recently, I had the opportunity to fly to Saudi on Saudi Airlines Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner SV-112 from London Heathrow to Jeddah. In this video, I'll be going through my flight experience flying first time on Saudi Airlines. So sit back, relax. Today our trip starts from London Heathrow Terminal 4. I arrived pretty early to the airport with plenty of time to spare. The check-in progress was quite smooth, aided by friendly airline staff who efficiently handled the body pass and the baggage procedures. After clearing security, I just made my way up to doing some plane sporting. While plane sporting and having a cup of coffee, I see the beautiful Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner of Saudi Airlines arriving from Jeddah one hour later than it was scheduled. HZAR26 was delivered to Saudi in December 2019 and in June 2022, it was changed to a Neom special livery by Saudi Airlines. The ground staff didn't do a great job doing the boarding. There was no systematic way of doing the boarding like calling zones or letting the kids first, special needed passengers first. Everyone was quite rushed into doing the boarding. I think the airline could have done a little bit better job than how it was done in the time of my travel. Saudi S787-10 is configured with 328 seats, including 24 life flat business class suits and 304 standard economy class seats. I was seated in the economy, which was arranged in a comfortable 333 configuration. Each seat had a 31 to 32 inch which while sitting down in your seat there is a nice blanket is being provided the blanket is quite nice nice material and it's quite smooth there is plenty of room for your legs you can extend your legs i'm a big guy there's plenty of space available in front so he is pretty cool you also get a very nice fluffy pillow on your seat it's already been provided with the blanket it's already on your seat there is a large nine inch screen for the in-flight entertainment system being given in back of every single seat a headphone is being provided by Saudi Airlines on every single seat on this flight. It's not the best headphones in the world, but you still can make a use out of it from the entertainment system. Underneath the seat, there is a 3-pin adapter or port available. There is a small pouch in front of you that's available to store your phones or iPads or smaller things. Saudi provides with a safety instruction card, but this is worn out big time in the front pouch you can also find a sickness bag travel sickness bag one of the things that really surprised me was how dirty the flight was there is a tray table in right in front of you um, i felt it was quite hard to maneuver uh, you can put a small cup there isn't anything special about this uh, tray table it's very a simple one uh, it can go back and forth but it was getting quite stuck so I think if you do some cleaning it probably would have been better. A hot towel was given just before takeoff. It's very surprising that hot towels are given. The entertainment system do have a three point jack i believe and it also has a usb uh, connection where you can actually charge your phones unfortunately the entertainment system was not working for me one hour later and the flight is being delayed over one hour we are ready to take off
What surprised me in economic class from Saudi Airlines was giving out AMA tickets in economic class, which is usually get in business class first or premium economy. This was a great gesture from Saudi Airlines. In the in the pouch, you get a socks, uh, which is a great quality socks. It's got a grip at the very bottom, so you can walk comfortably. You also get an ear plug, two ear plugs, both ears. You also get a dental kit. It's got a toothpaste. It's got a brush. I think the brush is made out of recycled material. You also get an eye mask, which is also a great quality eye mask. It's the same uh, pattern as the pouch uh, for the pouch for the ticket. Um, and you also have the pouch to put all your things in. And finally, they also given out their water. Now let's look at the in-flight entertainment system. My flight entertainment system was not working. The crew was able to rectify it for me. It's a nine inch screen. You have a lot of languages to choose from. Once you get on, you have movies, TVs, live radios, etc, etc. So we look at the movies. There's a lot of titles available. There's really good titles available. Over 100 titles available in different region languages. Um, you also have 3D maps where you can see where you are at at the moment 3d map is really great you also have sky sales which is kind of like a duty free you, you can make a lot of purchases on on board you have sunglasses jewelries souvenirs and things like that so it's really good one of the other things i really liked about it is a kid section once you go into kids mode and go into the kids section you have loads of kids movies especially for the kids uh it's quite vibrant colors it's really nice you have games for the kids puzzles and things so the kids can be en engaged pretty much throughout the flight so there's plenty of titles to choose from. Can I? Coffee, coffee. Yes please yeah. Uh, oh. Can I have Arabic coffee? Yeah. Oh, Thank you. The crew provided really nice Arabic coffee, which was really nice, really tasty. Uh, it's got a cardamony flavor, saffrony flavor to it. It's not too heavy on your palate. Once you have it with the dates, it's kind of like balances out. Not everyone likes it. Maybe the taste is not for everyone's palate, but I quite, really quite liked it. It, it was not too heavy for me. So the uh, balance of Arabic coffee and dates was quite nice. Dinner was served, there was a choice of chicken or beef. I tend to go for the beef option. Uh, there was a salad, dessert and a bread was given with the meal. Um, so we have the bread, then we have certain items being given with the food such as cutleries. I was not very much happy with the plastic cutleries that was given uh, by Saudia but what can you do it's we in economy and cost cutting after uh, covid kind of play a big role so we get a refreshing tissue as pretty much all airlines do tissue salt and pepper uh, then obviously the plastic spoons i was talking about i don't think it's like a great uh, plastic spoon a toothpick is being given um, then we start off with the bread I started off with the bread uh, and the butter but I was not really feeling it was a cold bread so I just put it on top of the uh, beef uh, dish just to make it a little bit hot um, it was quite dry I didn't really feel uh, it's such a great um, bread it was very very dry even with the butter um, it didn't really taste that great um, however finished it i was quite hungry so went for it we get on to the salad now and the, the salad was uh we got uh carrots we have cabbages we have onions it's kind of like a mixed salad they call it um there was not any catering menus being given so uh, i'm guessing it's a mixed salad um it really tasted nice it was not a bland taste it really kicked in I put in a little bit of pepper with the salad and it was really good the crunchiness of um, the onions and the cabbage it was really nice and then we go for the beef which is the main dish um, it's got carrots it's got some beans mashed potatoes and um, a beef uh, beef dish I put some 
um, pepper and salt and let's go and dig in and see how good this beef is I take the first bite and um, I, what can I say it was tasty it was really good the beef was so tender uh, cooked at the right I would say cooked right um, it was smooth it's not so um, chewy it's kind of like feel uh, you know f fell off the bone uh, as you say the beef was really nice mashed potatoes was absolutely on point with putting in some extra salt and pepper it's kind of like the right um, right taste for me I was not there's not complaint about the beef um, and the mashed potatoes um, can't really remember the right name for it because there was no uh, catering menus being given in the economic class so we have to go with um, our taste so i think it's kind of like a um uh, it's not a beef curry it's more of like a braised beef or something like that but it was really really tasty so a finished plate thumbs up then we move on to we have a dessert uh, being given so the dessert is more of like uh, a caramel cake um, going into it I felt it was quite dry it was not really smooth um, tasted okay um, it wasn't the best of the best dessert I ever had on a flight but um, uh, it was quite dry caramel uh, cake we can call it wouldn't be able to call it as a dessert dessert but it's a caramel cake um, it had some white chocolates on top um, not such of a complaint but dry uh, dry dessert or dry cake you have in here um, food overall I think except the beef and the salad and uh, nothing else was good um, I quite enjoyed uh, the food as we are heading into Jeddah I thought about my journey from London Heathrow the feelings I had were a mix of different things the food on the plane was okay but it wasn't really great the only thing I liked was the beef dish and the Arabic coffee uh, before that that was really good and tasty um, the crew on the plane was really amazing they took care of everything they were very friendly it made the flight feel nice and comfortable I would like looking back I would say the whole flight experience was good the things to watch on the screen was uh, very interesting the flight went really well like i said the plane really needs to be cleaner it wasn't clean as i expected there was loads of trash from the uh, previous flight as i got off the plane i carried memories with me uh, the crew the great service stayed in my mind um, and i felt hopeful that the plane would be cleaner next time the taste of the beef dish reminded me of the journey and i look forward to the new adventure while hoping to be hoping for a cleaner and better flights ahead overall positive feedback uh, to the saudi airlines crew and saudi airlines um, with little things to be be uh, noticed and to get better. I hope to see you on the next adventure soon. Bye bye.